Okay. Okay, I know you didn't die eat from eating that day old pizza or or eating that seven day old spaghetti. Okay, I know you're still alive. But I'm going to only say this once. Having diarrhea multiple times a week is not normal. Hello ladies. In particular, gentlemen too, but mostly ladies. Oh what the heck. Hello everybody, this is V to the Matt, Vitamin Matt, and it is Currently, two. Well, it is currently Tuesday, January seventeenth, two thousand and twelve. In fact, it may be the greatest Tuesday ever because I am doing my third ever episode of Vitamin Matt. Get your daily dose. That is right. Oh, it's been a while since I've uh, done one of these. Um, well, you know, you you gotta do. You, you know, I had I was pretty busy. You know, I had to do these. Oh, I had to bathe. I had to brush my teeth. I had to go to work. Oh, yeah, you know how that is. But this particular vitamin mat is going to be about uh, food safety. I asked a question, what can anyone tell me about food safety uh, a couple weeks ago? And I just got to now to making a video. All right. Stephanie says, infants, pregnant women, the elderly, and those with compromised immune systems need to be especially mindful when it comes to food safety. For example, pregnant women are counseled to avoid hot dogs and luncheon meats in their diet due to the harmful bacteria listeria that could be present. Um, yes, that is, I could not have said better myself. <laughs> you need to take my job. <laughs> I'm just doing this for fun. Yeah, anybody with weakened immune systems are, um, are high, at high risk for um, foodborne illnesses. Um, yeah, kids, elderly, uh, pregnant women, because they have hormonal changes, and, you know, it just gets in the way. All right, Attila says, washing your hands is numero uno. Well, yeah, I, I really, really agree with that, even though he said it in this semi-gangster, gangster, ghetto-ish, thug type thing. But, yeah, he actually knows what he's talking about, because most foodborne illnesses are, um, are a trip attributal to poor hygienic practices. Hey, come on, washing your hands, it's so easy. It just takes 20 seconds, and you just need soap, and you just need water. I know this is not soap and water. I don't care. It's very easy, and you know what I'm talking about. It will probably save save lives, to be honest. All right. Now, with this, I'm going to get started uh, with a few facts. All right, food safety. This involves um, 76 million people become ill from foodborne illnesses. That was actually a statistic from last year. 325,000 hospitalizations and 5,000 deaths. The highest risk are, as we said earlier, uh, usually children, elderly, and pregnant women. And then I have a little quiz for you. It's a little treat. Ha ha ha. Which hamburger is properly cooked? Is it the one on the left, or is it the one on the right? I know you guys are experts. This should be fairly simple, but to be honest, it's not, okay? The left one, in fact, has reached the temperature of 165, which is the, uh, is the, prop the proper temperature that uh, ground beef should be cooked. The one on the right has, is actually not cooked. Um, yes, hamburgers can actually drain their blood and look cooked even before their internal temperature gets to 165. And how do you know whether it's 165 or 160 or 150 or 140? A meat thermometer. Whoa, yeah. You know what? Microbes are what's what's in the um, the, mac the bacteria and stuff. Um, they're invisible to the human eye. So if you can see micro, uh, you know, um, yeah, but I've eaten it and um, I I didn't get sick. Overnight pizza. You have pizza, you have it overnight on the counter, keep it or toss it. I know how it tastes. I know some people actually like overnight pizza, but toss it. Yeah, when you reheat pizza, it um, it creates these heat-resistant bacteria. Um, it's, it's actually, it makes these, uh, not bacteria, toxins. Toxins that are highly um, resistant to heat. Okay. Well, I've eaten lots of pizza before, over three days, though. I, I didn't die. I'm still alive. <sighs> Calm down, Nestor. Okay, I'm going to teach you that that's not the way you think. Calm down, Nestor. Nestor is my name in, in my head. <laughs> All right. 
meat bought and kept on the counter for eight hours. Keep it or toss it. Yes, I went to Food for Less, bought meat. I'm just going to keep it there and, you know, maybe I'll cook it. Folks, it does not matter whether it's cooked or not. Bacteria, when it's in the danger zone, um, food danger temperature zone, it still grows bacteria. Bacteria is what in turn creates the toxins. Oh, you know what? I'm going to demonstrate this for you on paintbrush, okay? If you don't know what I'm talking about, okay, here's your food. Okay, this is a big, big, yummy, yummy piece of food, okay? Now, for two hours, uh, you keep it out when bacteria forms, okay? These, these green things are bacteria. All right, bacteria is forming rapidly, rapidly, okay? And what in turn, if that bacteria stays there, they create toxins... Yes, ooh, ooh, toxins, all right, reheating it. Okay, let's go reheat it. Let's blast it in the microwave for five minutes, okay? Make sure no bacteria is in there. Well, as you can see, you do destroy the bacteria. However, that does not make the food safe. Oh, my gosh. You kind of get my drift. The toxins, um, the toxins stay no matter how long you cook it, and the toxins are what, in fact will get you sick. Hopefully you don't get, you know, food poisoning, okay? I love paint. <laughs> Meat. Meat. Okay, enough of that. I said, enough of that. Alright, meat thawed in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Keep it or toss it? Well, my friends, it is actually recommended that you thaw meat in the refrigerator or in water because even though the inside is frozen, the outside actually will get to food danger zone temperatures while the inside stays frozen and the bacteria can still um, create toxins and cause you harm. Keep it. Food danger zone. Here we go. Bacteria multiply rapidly at 40 to 140, sometimes 145 degrees Fahrenheit. The maximum amount of time allotted is actually two hours. Hey, hey, don't blame me. I, I didn't know this stuff either, okay? But if you're eating and then, you know, you're not having good digestion, this is probably what's causing it. Okay, and that's because refrigeration doesn't actually stop bacteria growth, it slows growth. So if you still have a million bacteria and you refrigerate it, it's still going to have a lot when you take it out of the refrigerator. If bacteria are present in your food, toxins highly resi resistant to heat start to form, and the toxins are what in turn makes you sick. No, it it doesn't it doesn't make it doesn't make me sick. <sighs> roasts food in temperature uh, food internal temperature for meats. Uh, roasts should be cooked at around one forty five because the bacteria is usually on the outside, and it uh, it doesn't get inside. So you can cook it as long as it's inside one forty five. It's fine. Ground beef and meats since it's really just ground outsides. Um, the whole thing is an outside, so you need to cook it at a, a lot, a little, a little higher. 165. 165, you should be clear. I know we don't talk about our bowel movements with others, but I'm just going to tell you right now, diarrhea multiple times a week is not normal. With that said, um, if you do get some kind of, uh, a lot of bacteria, the bacteria and toxins, it, um... Uh, is on set for about 24 to 72 hours, so it could have been something you ate yesterday or the day before, and it can cause any of this stuff. Nausea, fever, diarrhea, vomiting, headache. It lasts for about two or three days. I actually had this a week ago, and that's why I'm doing this. That's so you know what I went through, and then I don't want you to go through it. Yeah. See, this is the greatest Tuesday ever, because it's episode three, and I'm having lots of fun doing it. Prevention. Avoid cross-contamination with raw meat and fresh vegetables. You have a knife? Ooh, I'm going to cut the meat. It's got the stuff on it. Okay, I'm going to cut vegetables. Wrong. Don't do that. Okay. Don't even wipe it. Cut something else. Don't even wipe it because you're just putting it back. Okay. Wash your hands. I don't know how to stress this, but that's probably the number one thing you can do to, um, to avoid things getting contaminated. Cooking kills salmonella. Um, do not eat raw eggs. I don't care that you watch Rocky and he drank like five eggs. Um, yeah, raw eggs 
almost all of them have salmonella in it, and it should be cooked. This is Vita the Mat, Vitamin Mat, food safety. I hope you have a great day. I start school tomorrow, so um, I'll be doing a lot of these just maybe once a month or something. Maybe once a week. I don't know. You, you'll know. You'll know. Uh, all right.